Hello everyone! In this recording, I'm going to summarize the key takeaway points of the Budweiser Budvar case study. First, let's talk about the company itself. Budweiser Budvar is a very well-known brewery. Now, what makes it different from other global brands is their truly unique approach to beer brewing. The Budvar beer is produced only in the brewery headquarters and the brewery doesn't allow for their beer to be produced anywhere else in the world under the same license in order to preserve the original quality and taste of the product. Yet, the company serves 76 markets in different countries all around the world, which means that there are around 20,000 pallets at their facility at any given time. As you can imagine, Having so many pallets full of beer of different alcohol volume and labels in several different languages is a logistical nightmare for any warehouse manager. And it would often happen that pallets would get lost around the facility, orders would be fulfilled incorrectly, thus increasing the delays and costs for the customer. Budweiser Budvar was initially using a passive RFID solution to minimize human error while operating thousands of pallets. For precise tracking, each forklift had an RFID antenna mounted on the chases. However, this made it more prone to damage. For example, it was enough for the forklift to go through a bit of mud outside or for the pressure in its tires to decrease and the antenna was likely to get damaged. These antennas would then communicate with RFID tags. However, to mark a single zone within the facility, one needs 10 RFID tags which not only drives up the cost of the system, but also because each tag installation requires drilling, it means that any change to the layout of the warehouse, thus any zone update, would require drilling as well, making it both costly and logistically challenging. On top of that, for the antenna to correctly read the tag information, the forklifts were required to slow down when driving over the tags, which translated into more time needed to finish the job. With this knowledge, the goals of the project were clear. First, to replace the legacy RFID system with an UWB real-time location system and thus decrease the customer's maintenance costs, increase the accuracy of the tracking and ensure scalability. Second, to further minimize errors when fulfilling orders and handling pallets with hundreds of combinations of beers. Third, to cover the outdoor area of the facility, which was previously not covered by the RFID system, and last, to streamline forklift job operations by leveraging analytics. So, how did the migration from a passive RFID system to a UWB RTLS look? Well, the UWB tag is newly placed on the roof of the forklift which not only prevents it from being damaged, but it also allows for it to be powered by the forklift battery. Similarly, the UWB anchors are now mounted on the ceiling, which allows for having an unlimited number of virtual zones that can be changed or updated any time. So if Budvar decides to change the layout of their warehouse, all they need to do is update the virtual zones on a computer and there's no need to physically change the infrastructure in the facility itself. So, what did the migration help achieve? Firstly, maintenance costs were decreased. Secondly, we managed to significantly increase the reliability. Due to constant maintenance needs, the RFID system was up and running only about 80% of the time whereas the UWB RTLS not only runs all the time, but also has a much higher accuracy. We also replaced presence data with continuous track and trace information. So, instead of only knowing where things are, the customer is now also able to track their movement around the facility. This enables them to leverage analytics such as spaghetti diagrams or heat maps, which were previously not available. Last but not least, the system is now highly scalable. We can update or add new zones or add additional halls and tracked objects without an issue. Now, let's take a look at what were some of the main challenges of this project. The toughest challenge of implementing this project was the integration of Sevio RTLS with multiple other systems, such as Budvar's warehouse management system, enterprise resource planning system, with cameras for loading trucks, or Wi-Fi operating trolleys and terminals. 
Additionally, it was also tricky to ensure seamless user experience with the system behavior, both indoor and outdoor. At the end, we were required to track 20,000 pallets, which under normal circumstances would mean attaching a tag to each pallet, which would drastically increase the cost of the project. So, we came up with a smart solution called indirect tracking, where we track the pallets by tracking the forklifts that manipulate them. This means that to reliably track 20,000 pallets, we're only using 15 UWB tags, thus significantly decreasing the cost. To add the full information, the system is covering an area of 15,000 square meters using 70 receivers, and all that while assuring a 30 centimeter accuracy. Now, this is already an image from the RTLS studio, where on the right side you can see an overview of the entire area of the brewery, whereas on the left side there is a floor plan of one of the warehouses. The green markers show the position of anchors, which as you can see cover both the indoor and outdoor area of the warehouse, and the blue markers show the current position of the tracked objects, in this case forklifts. Here, we have a spaghetti diagram where the four different colors represent four different forklifts so we can easily see where each forklift traveled in a given time period. Here is a heat map showing the density of forklift traffic around the warehouse. And finally here we have an aggregate view of the data showing the distance traveled by each forklift within a given shift. Lastly, let's summarize the results. We managed to deploy this project within seven months, and with the implementation of it, Budweiser Budvar decreased mistakes made in order fulfillment and thus improved their OTIF thanks to having the system check whether pallets are loaded and unloaded in correct zones. Similarly, the RTLS helped increase the warehouse utilization by 19%, and last but not least, there has been a 19% increase in system uptime compared to the legacy RFID system. For more details, feel free to read the full case study and thanks for tuning in.